Morning everybody, David Shapiro here with a video. So I've mentioned recently that I'm starting on a new research project called Reinforcement Learning with Heuristic Imperatives. Um, so that's under Dave Shap slash RLHI. Um, and I've just begun the first experiment and what I wanted to do was document it as I go. Um, so the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, form to join is here on, on this if you wanna join in. Um, the discussions tab is open for everyone. Um, so if you have any thoughts or want to contribute um, but haven't uh, been approved on the Discord, that's fine. Uh, pretty much, you know, the point is, is open source research. So taking a big step back, what is reinforcement learning with heuristic comparatives? The idea is, well, uh, OpenAI, for instance, has reinforcement learning with human feedback, but they keep all of their data private. So all of the work that they're doing on alignment is presently private and it's a total black box, which is not good. Um, furthermore, if you uh, do some research or some reading or some YouTube watching, you don't necessarily want to align super intelligence to human desires, you want to align it to human needs. So there's a big difference there. So the heuristic imperatives are what humans and the whole planet needs, not necessarily what we want. There's a whole lot of debate to happen around that. Um, so I'm just accepting it uh, for the sake of this video that the heuristic comparatives are more what we need, not what we want. Um, and moving on, um, let me show share with you the first experiment. So the first experiment um, is basically just creating 2,000 random scenarios with heuristic imperative aligned responses. Now I'm using OpenAI in order to generate this data, but this data is gonna be used to train open source foundation models like GPTJ, NeoX, and so on. So this first experiment is, can we, using a simple data set, quickly and easily align any foundation model to the heuristic imperatives? And in this case, what we're doing is we're generating uh, scenarios and, the scenario, and I'll show you the scenarios and how I'm generating them in just a moment, but um, the scenarios will then be used to generate a response. And the response will be, uh, you know, given this scenario, this is what we can do to uh, reduce suffering, increase prosperity, and increase understanding. I've said many times that this is actually really easy to do. I've done this experiment many times before, but now I'm uh, getting it together into a formalized uh, procedure with an open source data set so that everyone can experiment with it for themselves. So this will be a uh, this will be the first uh, uh, experiment, um, and then we'll work we'll move on to subsequent experiments, saying can we make moral judgments or maybe not moral judgment but uh, logical or ethical judgments on those outputs and improve the quality of that of those outputs over time with reinforcement learning. So this is just step one. All right, so let me show you what it's doing. So this is the script that's running. So what I do is I have a random scenario um, generated here. Let me zoom in a little bit more. So I use a UUID, a random word from a list of the 3,000 most common words in the English language. And then I establish scope, severity, region, category, and domain. Um, and this allows, uh, this uh, puts a lot of entropy into the generation pattern, which means that you will never have the same uh, pattern uh, twice, right? Because there's 3,000 random words. Um, oh, here, I can go ahead and just show you the random lists. Um, so I've got uh, list severity. So I've got 12 different sever severities. Um, I've got six different system messages. So the system message is the instruction that I'm giving it. So let me just show you what it what this looks like. So this is this is the playground version of what I'm doing. So there's a system message, which is the instruction. Um, and then I give it uh, some variables and then it spits out an output. Um, so this is this is how I'm uh, achieving this. So what I've what I've done is I've got um, a bunch of lists to create a lot of entropy um, in order so that you never get the same uh, same pattern twice. Um, and then I've got 16 scopes. We've got 10 domains, uh, 3,000 or I guess 2,900, uh, 2,999. Um, uh, random words, domains, regions, so that way it's not gonna presume that it's always in America, which OpenAI typically does because it's trained uh, predominantly on um, Western data. Um, and then I've got different system messages, different categories, so on and so forth. You get the idea. So the way that this is done, the script is very, very simple. So we load um, 
uh, each of these lists. So we've got scope, region, severity, category, domain, entropy, and system messages. And then for um, for I in range 2000, so for 2000 samples, we grab a random system message. Then we generate a random scenario, which you're seeing here. And then we just pipe that into uh, chat GPT. I'm using 3.5 because it's fast and cheap and it's good enough for this, uh, certainly for a first experiment. Um, and then we, uh, we use it to generate a scenario. And the scenarios are everything from, you know, um, let's see, the model is currently overloaded. Oh yeah, so <laughs> I've got some, I've got some, uh, some fail safes built in. Um, there we go, so it, it uh, went ahead through. Um, but yeah, so it will choose different regions around the world. It will uh, see who we got Bogota, uh, which is great. So we're basically creating a data set this first half of the data set, this is only the first half, will uh, in encompass the entire world, the full range of human experiences, um, all kinds of problems and situations from everything from I've lost my wallet um, as like the most, you know, like I can't find my wallet at home up to there's an intergalactic catastrophe happening. Um, so this will create a, a fine tuning data set that we can use to align any model to the heuristic imperatives so that the, the model can automatically and instinctively react with the heuristic imperatives. So again, this is just day one. Um, so the, the first half of this data is all being recorded in scenarios. So I've got 108 synthesized already, um, and you can take a look at them here. Um, <laughs> in a distant galaxy, there existed a planet named Zarthon. So you see, we're getting really creative here because remember the, um, the, the heuristic imperatives are in the entire universe. Actually, let me go ahead and add that as a scope. Because I've got intergalactic, interstellar, um, cosmic, or universal. <laughs> um, so something that can affect the entire universe. So we're thinking that far ahead because you want to establish the biggest scope possible when you are thinking about post-conventional morality or the control problem. Um, so then, let's see. Let's do uh, domain. So we've got technological, so that should include um, AI uprisings. Um, I do have specific regions, but it kind of ignores that when it goes to you know interstellar or intergalactic. Um, the category, natural disaster, technological failure. Um, let's add um, AI control problem. So that way it'll be thinking about it as it goes. Um, and then severity, we've got irreversible, long lasting, life threatening, catastrophic, critical, dangerous. So we've got all those, that's fine. So we're basically synthesizing a data set that we can use to, that anyone can use to align a model. Um, so the, 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 the scenarios are here. So then there'll be, once I'm done, there will be a second folder called responses. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to use an already aligned model, but it's aligned via a black box, um, AKA the open AI models. We're going to use that to generate responses that align on reduced suffering, increased prosperity, and increased understanding in the universe. Um, and those will be formatted into a JSON-L data set that we will then use to test against various models um, all over. Uh, other proprietary models, if we can get a hold of them, like NVIDIA Nemo. Um, I'm gonna email some of my, my contacts at NVIDIA. Um, and then also open source models like GPTJ, NeoX, and so on. Uh, Alpaca, if they have fine tuning available. And so then we will publish those results in the first paper, um, just saying, hey, look how easy it is to align a model on the heuristic imperatives. And then you can just plug this in as your heuristic imperative, your intrinsic motivation module for any open source, or not open source, but any cognitive architecture or autonomous agent that you're working on. So that is it, trying to keep it sort, short and sweet so that you're updated on the research as it goes. Thanks for watching. I hope this makes sense. And uh, yeah, feel free to jump in the conversation. Um, we've got a subreddit called uh, Heuristic Imperatives. We've got the um, we've got the uh, this one here. So this is reinforcement learning with heuristic imperatives. So this is specifically about inner alignment. And then I've also got my main repo, um, which is just called Heuristic Imperatives. Um, I think I've got it up here. I don't. Um, it is going to be right here. All of them. You can jump in on the conversation. Um, so here's the main main one. Um, I've got a pull request right now for the README. Yep, that's fine. Um, but yeah, and there is a discussions tab as well, which a lot of people don't participate in. I haven't read this one yet. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, uh, that's that. Thanks for watching. Cheers. 
we are on our way to solving con the control problem alignment and avoiding Moloch. Bye.